Hello, welcome back. In this segment, I will formally define what is discrete logarithm. Suppose you are given a cyclic group G and let's use Q to be the order of the group G and small g is the generator of the group. Okay. What it means G to be a cyclic group is 620 here, right? G is equal to G power 0, G power 1, all the way until G power Q minus 1. Okay. Remember G power Q is 1 and therefore we can say G power 0 is same as G power Q. Okay. All right. So that's the basic definition of cyclic group that we have been uh, talking for quite some time. And uh, now let's move on to the def definition of a discrete logarithm. Let's select a, an element H from the group G, okay? By, by the definition of cyclic group, we will be able to find an X such that G power X is equal to H, right? G, since G is a generator of the group, uh, such an X must exist, okay? So we also proved earlier that this X must be unique meaning only one particular X can give you G power X is equal to H. You cannot find two different uh, X values, which will map to the same H value, okay? So this is a isomorphic function we talked about in the previous segment. All right, so what is discrete logarithm then? Um, X is called the discrete logarithm of H to the base G. That's how we define discrete logarithm. 